This video will cover the topic, Solving a Two-Step Equation with Signed Fractions. In this video, we will learn how to solve equations by using the least common multiple of the denominators to eliminate signed fractions. Can we quickly review how to find the least common multiple? Sure. Let's review how to find the least common multiple of the denominators, or the LCM of the denominators for short. Here's an example of some fractions we can find the LCM of the denominators for. 8 thirds, 7 halves, and 4 fifths. The denominator is the bottom number, right? That's right. So to find the least common multiple of the denominators, we take the three denominators, 3, 2, and 5, and write a list of their multiples. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, and so on, until we have 3 times 10 equals 30. Let's now make the lists for 2 and 5. Wait, why did we stop at 10 multiples for 3? How do we know where to stop? That's a good question. There is no definite way to know exactly where to stop. Just extend each list until a common multiple has been reached among the denominators. This is just one of many methods to find the least common multiple of the denominators. From the lists, we can see that the first multiple that all three denominators have in common is 30. So 30 is the least common denominator for the fractions. Now that we have the least common denominator for these fractions, let's incorporate these fractions into an example equation. Negative 8 thirds minus 7 halves times y equals negative 4 over 5. How do I eliminate the fractions in order to solve this equation for y? To eliminate those fractions, multiply both sides of the equation by 30, making sure to distribute the 30 to both terms on the left side of the equation. This simplifies to negative 80 minus 105y equals negative 24. Then, Solve for y by adding 80 to both sides. Then divide by negative 105 to isolate y. Lastly, simplify negative 56 over 105 to negative 8 over 15, and you have your final answer. That makes sense, but can we do another quick example? Sure. In this example, let's address another method of finding a common denominator. Let's use the example problem, negative 7 fourths equals 1 third x minus 9 over 8. This method of finding a common denominator does not require us to write out the entire list of multiples for each denominator. However, it does not always yield the least common denominator, merely an example of a common denominator. For this method, we will multiply the three denominators together, 4 times 3 times 8 equals 96. Then, we multiply both sides of the equation by 96, making sure to distribute the 96 on the right side of the equation. Simplify the fractions to the equation negative 168 equals 32x minus 108. Next, isolate x by adding 108 to both sides, yielding 32x equals negative 60. Then, divide by 32 to yield x equals negative 60 over 32, which can be simplified to x equals negative 15 over 8. Okay, let me clarify what we've accomplished so far. First, we take the denominators of each fraction in the equation and find a common denominator using whatever method we're comfortable with. This common denominator is then multiplied to both sides of the equation to eliminate the fractions. Then we use the algebraic rules for solving equations to isolate the variable. Sounds perfect.